So I'd like to go over regression very briefly. And so if you look on the right in the catalog, if you start typing in regression, then this will appear. You have these three functions here, regression function, parameters, and plot. Um, but, but, but even if you don't want to use the functions, there's some interface tools designed to help uh, make getting regressions quick. So for instance, I just want to define a list, something like that. And then if I want to do a regression analysis on this, I can just click on 2D and then regression. And then a little graph pops up. And I'm just making it full screen, zooming out to get a good picture of it, like so. And then I have this nice little menu here where I can go from the different models um, and it displays the equation here and the values of the parameters are just below and in and in some of these you have a value of R which is the residual which is the difference between the data point and the fitted line and what's also one of the things I also really like is that there's also this custom button as well so for instance I can do something like a times sine of X plus B times exp to the C times X and now it's computing and there you go it computed this kind of weird looking plot but it computed the value of a b c and this residual value r so this is a way using the uh, the interface to get regressions but then if you also wanted to um, you know work with the as a more you know script approach to it you have the um, you have the option to use functions. So for instance, regression function, and then I need to put in an X list and a Y list. So what was happening before was it was assuming the X list was just one, two, three, four, etc. So what what I'll do before, just kind of give you an idea of how I would work with this, is I would just compute the length of my vector, and then I would say, okay, well I'm going to want XX to be my um, my 1 through 9 and I'll let yy be the my data list so I'll do xx equals 1 colon 9 and so what what this will return uh, just to kind of show you what, what I'm setting up here is the first list is the set 1 through 9 and the second list is my data set and now I can go ahead and input this into my function so xx yy my x variable is going to be x. My y function is going to be, let's just say, um, uh, a times exp to the c times x plus b. Um, so you can leave it at here. So there are a bunch of optional parameters, p list, p val, n. But if you just, as simply as, as, you, as, as this, you just hit enter. And now what it's doing is it's computing... Um, there you go. And so it's computing the values of these coefficients and it's auto detecting that these are in fact the coefficients. Um, now another thing that you can do is and this won't always uh, work or work well and it's because of the algorithm is uh, I believe a numerical algorithm to compute these coefficients. If you ever have any trouble what you can also do I can just copy and paste is you can then fill in okay my variables are A, B, C but then you can give the algorithm some initial values. So for instance, if, I, if I'm pretty sure that that one is near 40, A is near 40, let's say B is near negative 41, and C is near 0 0.02, um, I, I don't recommend having an initial condition of zero anywhere. Uh, this is just from my experience of dealing with this, um, and there's, this is well documented, is having an initial condition of zero can uh, mess things up with the numerical algorithm. So usually if you don't know what to do, you put in a vector of all ones, which is, I believe, what the algorithm does, and uh, by default. So here, we evaluate that, and it gives us an answer a, a little bit quicker. But what's nice is that by default, you don't have to worry about initial conditions. It'll just try something and go. Um, so the same thing, uh, so if you want to return instead of the function, if you wanted, if you wanted the set of parameters, so for instance, corresponding to the value A, you get that, that value B here, C here. 
Um, so this is a way to get it to return um, the values that it that it found.